What is up you guys? My name is Lily. I'm a fiber artist and knitwear designer and I like to make things. Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm really excited because we are going to be making a dupe of a $1,000 Jill Sanders sweater in 24 hours. I always say this in every single video. I'm always like in one day and then like it's like 4 p.m. and I'm just like look like shit and I'm exhausted and I'm like why did I say I could do this in one day? I'm so beyond done with this to be fair. But it's eight in the morning, so I think that we can do it. Like I said, I'm gonna be making a dupe of this Jill Sanders sweater I saw this morning that I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. And I've been wanting to make a sweater with this like uh, alpaca, like brush story yarn that I have in my shop. Cause I made like a turtleneck sweater previously in the videos, but I wanna make a better version on my brother KX350. So that's what we're gonna do today. I think you can see my yarn winder right here. So to start, I need to wind up all of these hanks and then we're gonna get right into it. saw one thing I love to do is steal my own ideas so I have this sweater that I made in this video previously with my brother knitting machine and I'm just gonna like try it on and sort of use it as like a template for this new sweater this sweater is so cute I love this sweater um so here's what I'm thinking um okay the sleeves are kind of long so I'm gonna make the sleeves a little bit shorter just like that much shorter and I'm gonna make the ribbing maybe twice as long I'm wondering what I think about the size I'm gonna make the arms less wide and then obviously it's gonna be a cardigan okay so I'm gonna go do some baths and calculations and I'll be right back to get started oh my god that was so overwhelming look at all my notes I'm just like literally this is math okay but this is the pattern my final pattern that I think I'm gonna go with let's try it out I'm actually manifesting that I don't make any mistakes in this video. It's too short. <laughs> I'm gonna start by casting on with this acrylic lace yarn, and we're gonna start on the back panel. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, and I'm nervous, but so I'm doing the ribbing right now and I'm gonna do 110 rows of ribbing. Hopefully that's enough to meet my boobs, we'll see. Let's do it. Not off to a good start. <laughs> Now that we're done with all this ribbing, I am going to basically fold this over and like reattach it to the machine to like make the ribbing. You'll see. I did this in my other video. Hee hee. With one of these. <laughs> I'm just resetting to zero, zero, 001 because I just did my first row. Bada boom. So the ribbing is done and I just did my first row of body yarn and I am going to do 35 rows and then I'm gonna mark where I need to attach my shoulder or like my arms, okay. Yay. <laughs> Kind of. 
Hopefully that's good. I just realized I forgot to put the weights on. That's probably why I got that stitch cut. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished 35 rows and I marked where the arms are gonna go on both sides as I showed you. And now I'm gonna do 40 more rows and then cast off, but I might make it shorter. I'm like evaluating right now, so we'll see. I'm holding up this sweater to like compare the size of the panels and it looks like it's already almost the size of the back panel. And I think it might be because this yarn is like thicker than this yarn. So I'm like, I might just do like 30 rows and see how I feel. We'll see. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna do 33 rows and then I'm done. Oh, not the crooked angle, sorry guys. OMG, OMG, OMG. Okay, back panel's done. I think it's a good length, like solid. Okay, maybe it's a little more cropped than I wanted. I should have probably made it a little longer, but honestly, like when I block it and shit, it probably will be a little bit longer. Also, like even if it is this length, it's like a fine cropped length in my opinion. So back panel is done. I am gonna do the front two panels next, but first I'm gonna have a workout break. Dance workout time. Leopard set, make workout easy. <laughs> okay, I'm back. It's a few hours later. I'm clean. New outfit because it's hot as fuck outside for some reason. Well, it's more so hot in my apartment. You guys know the drill from my last video. It's time to do the front panels and I've already done one off camera just to like make sure everything's right. So this is what I'm doing. It's the exact same as the back, but half the size. So I'm just gonna like speed through it and show you guys and let's see how fast I can do it. I'm gonna time myself. So let's just do it. took me 15 minutes and 27 seconds exactly which is honestly longer than I expected but I did drop a stitch I don't think I showed you guys that and also I was filming a little bit but yeah so did that I we're gonna do arms now I'm not sure if I'll show you guys I don't know I don't want you guys to get bored of me just like going back and forth but next up is arms let's see what happens with the filming okay so I'm being really risky I only have two more balls left of yarn and I'm not sure if I have enough to do the arms and I was gonna maybe do stripes, but I don't want to and I think I'm gonna have enough. So I'm gonna try to make two arm panels with just two balls of yarn and like I really hope it works, but we'll see. I'm scared. I am in fact back on iPhone quality. I am in between cameras, however, I'm getting a new one soon. Don't you worry, but I didn't want to wait to film this video, so. <laughs> Um, so like, and the thing was, I realized I made the ribbing too short and then I was like, fuck. But then I was like, I want to see how much I have. So I'm deciding to keep this like body yarn the same amount of rows, but I'm gonna double and a half the ribbing. So the ribbing is like super long because that's kind of how the original sweater is anyways. So I'm gonna remake this off camera and I'm gonna make the other one off camera and then I'll be back for assembly because it's already like three o'clock and I need to finish this. Yeah. 
This is the part of the video where I start freaking out. Oh my God, the way it's like doing that, because it's literally almost three o'clock and I haven't even finished the panels yet. I started at 8 a.m., honey. What am I doing? Here's a DIY thing that I cannot explain. I've had to redo this sleeve like four fucking times. And I don't know why, because every other thing has gone perfectly well. Like. It's like when I spend way too much time, like, and I'm way too into trying to finish something, like I just start making mistakes and I cannot even explain why it's happening. Um, but the other day I was like sewing my Halloween costume and I was sewing for like 12 hours straight. And at the end of the day, my machine like kept like skipping stitches and getting stuck. And I was like, why is this happening? So I was like, okay, this is my side. I need to like make dinner. Cause it was like eight o'clock and like fucking go to bed. And then the next day I picked it up and the machine was working perfectly fine. Like I literally think like, the Lord Jesus Christ is telling me to stop doing this right now. So let's take a break and walk to the fabric store so I can get a zipper. I hope they have one. I think it needs to be about 20 inches or 21 to be safe. Sleeve update. Okay, the sleeve I think it's gonna be perf, like once it's on and everything, this is what we've got. Also, I got my zipper, it was only 250 and it like matches perfectly, which is so cool because I went to this like discounted sewing place where they just get like stuff dead stock. So like the odds of finding something perfect are sort of like 50-50, so I'm super happy. Um, and now that I've done all my panels, it's time to assemble. And you guys can tell it's like, it's getting dusk. Like it's, is that the right word? It's getting dawn. No, it's getting dusky outside. So I need to hurry the fuck up. I'm actually going to LA tomorrow, so I really only have today to do this. And of course, I always like film videos like right before I have like big trips. I'm going to LA for like two days. So it's like not a big deal, but um, yeah. And look how much yarn I have left. I'm so happy I didn't choose like a different yarn with the sleeves. And it's done, let's do the sleeves. Okay, so do you guys remember how we marked two sides on the front and back panels? That's how we know where the sleeves are gonna go. So I'm going to attach like both sides to the machine and then periodically place each stitch in this pattern evenly and then we're gonna put the sleeve on it, okay? We got this. Now we're gonna put the sleeve on right sides together. My back hurts. I'm like hunched over like this. <laughs> it's so tiring being a fiber artist. Tis done. Now I just want to make sure all of these little things are closed so that the stitches can go in without anything getting messed up. That doesn't, that was such a bad explanation, but like, just trust me, okay? I don't even like have to do this, but I just want to make sure like these stitches are secured, if that makes sense. Now I'm just gonna pull this panel through. It's okay, and then that's how you do it. So now I'm just gonna do a few rows of waist yarn to secure this. One arm is done. Let's snap into the next one. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, you guys. I'm literally being so corny. So I just did the other arm. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a crazy vibe in here, but the last well, not the last step, but the, another important step is to just seam the backs and the arms together, which I am about to do. But first, I'm going to do the collar. And for that, I need to consult my handy dandy book because I have an idea of how I'm going to do it, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to like look through this really quick. I started at like 8 and now it's like fucking 5.30. Why do I do this? Like literally. Also, why do I have such bad acne scars? I'm 24, okay. Anyways, lady sweater number two is gonna be the pattern I'm referencing. I'm just gonna try it. So right now I'm just going to be attaching the whole neck opening to the machine. And then I'm just gonna try it knitting ribbing, just like I did with like the sleeves and the hem, and then like see if that'll work for a collar. I forgot my show is on. Trying that again. Um, okay, update. So I have it pinned, as you can see, up the arms and down the body. 
um excuse my blanket and this is what it's gonna look like especially with the zipper so that's like really cute the color came out nice i did have to redo it and i did it off camera because i was i'm so beyond done with this to be fair but um so it's currently 7 37 and i started working on this at about 8 30 so i have been working for 11 hours if you can't tell by how fucking crazy i feel um so i'm gonna put this down for tonight and pick it back up tomorrow but really tomorrow is gonna be when i get back from la in a few days but i'm still counting this as 24 hours because it is so yes 11 hours in this is how far we are i'm really close to finishing it i just need to like slip stitch it but i just need to like make dinner and go to bed because i'm waking up at 4 45 in the morning tomorrow so yay see you guys in a few days Um, I'm being really quiet because my boyfriend is sleeping and snoring. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I just woke up. I'm back from LA. Insert LA clips. It was really fun. It was really hectic. It was like two days. And I think it's... It's like 8 a.m., like 8.30 now. And I'm going to finish this sweater. Let's do it. I'm going to start by slip stitching the body and the arms together. So let's do it. I'm excited about this sweater. It's been enough time where I'm not angry at it anymore since I spent so much time on it the first day. So we're good now. I'm gonna slip stitch the body to the arm. Done. Don't mind the robe underneath, but this is what it's looking like. Oh my god, it's looking cute. Um, next step is gonna be zipper. I've never put a zipper on a knit or crochet thing, so I'm very excited. I'm just gonna hand sew it. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm doing the zipper now, and I just have it pinned a million times, like all the way up the cardigan, and I'm hand sewing it, and I'm doing like a sort of like back stitch, so I have it like I'm hand sewing it, and then I'm going back and then forwards, so I'm sort of like going back on my stitches so it's like stronger. So it's like really simple and I'm just gonna sew all the way up the Cardi. Hi guys, okay, so I just finished putting the zipper in. The sweater is basically done. I just have to weave in. All my loose ends will take just a second. Um, it's 12.30 right now and I started at 8.30, so it's been four hours. And when I started this on day one, I think I spent 11 hours, so that means this only took me 15 hours. So less than 24 hours, guys, yay. So I'm just gonna weave in my ends off camera and then I'll show you the final reveal. <laughs> I have neighbors next door and they have like wide windows that face us and one of them just always sits at his computer at the window and I'm like, not him watching me film. Anyways, it's reveal time. I have my sweater here. I literally just finished weaving my ends in. I was like ready to show you guys and then I realized I forgot to weave my ends, but so excited to show you guys. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump into it. I don't know why I'm doing these transitions, but let's do it. Okay, three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh my God! Okay, this is what we made, guys. I think she's really cute. I think she might be one of the better things that I've made which I think it's good because I keep saying that about stuff, but I keep getting like better and better at like whatever, not me bragging, but I think it's cute. Okay, so some things I'm noticing, the ribbing is really thick, so it's maybe not the most flattering sweater in the world, but at the same time, like who gives a fuck? Um, it is really warm. I, you know how much I fucking complain about how hot my apartment is, but it is a very warm sweater. I'm like getting closer. Um, I have my little zipper. Can you freaking believe this? I put a zipper. I'm like really proud of myself. As someone who's never been able to sew a zipper, I just am in shock and awe. I think this is awesome. I like it more than the original, which is sort of the point of this video, although it was sort of my selfish reason to actually make this sweater. I like it more mainly because I like the blue like faux mohair look. It's like, she's cute. It ended up being good. Like the ribbing ends up my boobs. The zipper is pretty invisible, goes really high, 
which is also cute. The sleeves are nice. I like it. It's cute. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun making it, even though I was at literally zero morale at hour 11 of day one. I literally was like, fuck this ugly ass sweater, I'm over it. If you like tutorials, DIYs, and Crafty Girl things, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your Crafty Girl friends. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.